So I guess this is kind of the inaugural Kill Fab shop video. I don't know. It's so weird because I've been torn. Like I kind of want to show you guys the house and everything because, well, I've kind of been like leading up to it. But then my personality is like, I feel like I'm bragging or something. So whatever. Anyway, I can show you the shop for sure, right? What are you doing? What's up there? Is there a ball up there? So here's the deal. I don't really have much to show you today. Uh, I've been kind of stashing stuff in the shop just you know, I come across something that I, that I want or I need that I know that needs to go in here and I'll kind of just put it here because I don't have anywhere else to put it. And over time, I've kind of forgot what I've got down here. So I figured what better opportunity to kind of maybe go through some of this stuff with y'all, show you some of the stuff that I know I've got. And um, yeah, I just talk lighting. Insulation should be in maybe next week, so should we start making some progress? Should start making some videos out here in the shop? Well, I guess the first thing we can start with is lighting. Take off my coat, it's hot. So we've had like 69, 70, 72, 73, 75 degree weather last couple days. It's been nice. It's really made up for all that rain that's pissed me off. If you follow me in, on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. So lighting. So you can see I got one LED, two LEDs, and three LEDs. They light the space a little bit, just enough to do work. But this is the thing, I'm after more of a studio, a film studio look in this shop. That's the idea behind this one. The crappy lighting in the old shop really made me mad. And so I definitely wanna fix that first thing. That's like number one priority. I can't do anything permanently right now because they still gotta put spray insulation in. Probably gonna happen maybe next week. Uh, just kind of been waiting on the weather. It really needs to be in the 70 degree range to make that happen. And so I think it's gonna happen next week. Uh, so temporary lighting for now, but this is the thing. So you see one, two, three way down there. And I mean, I don't know, it's not super bad lighting, right? Well, I have four more, four, C seven, yeah, four more of the same LED high bay lights. So they're 150 watts. It's actually, I think, um, in terms of standard wattage, it's more than that, or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, 5,000K is the color on it. What do you think, Weezer? I'm really after that like daylight feel, you know what I'm saying? I want it to feel like it's daylight in here all the time. So everything I'm doing is like 5,000 K on the color. I want a yellow. Although I will have some mood lighting and stuff in here, some accent lighting that will be a different color. But as far as just the natural film color, I want it to be ultra bright, that daylight light. Let's bust a couple of these open. Kind of throw those up. Really see how much of a difference it makes. I uh, can't get them all up. And like I said, it's just temporary because I'm gonna have to take them all down when they come in here and do the spray insulation. But I've also got some four foot LEDs, same color. So even if seven of these isn't enough, I got more.
rider is like one step too short. All right, so the idea with the lights is that I'm gonna do one every two trusses. So one, two, a light. There'll be one right there. Obviously there's already one there. There'll be one right there. There's already one right there. It's all said and done. Should end up with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, should end up with seven down the center. What you see in here now is I got four. Yeah, I got four. So I put two of the four footers up, one there, one up here, and um, I've just got them switched. So I've, I, as I've mentioned in past videos, half the plugs all the way down that top piece are switched over here at the door. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna put there, but I felt like it was a good idea to maybe have those. So I can just turn those on and off right here. And really this is just temporarily because uh, I'm gonna have lights all down the center of both of these on both sides and we'll probably use those switched pieces for something else but for now when I walk in the door uh, I'll be able to turn on some lights because everything down the center and everything that's wired out here on the on the uh, on the lean-to's is all done via circuit breaker it doesn't have a switch I didn't really feel like I needed a switch Let's come over here, flip the breakers. Everything will light up, except for what I do have switched. So you can see that all the center lights are on one circuit breaker. And I've actually got one circuit breaker that does this side, one that does that side. And then everything in that little transition piece on both sides is switched. And then I've also got three of the plugs over there near the door that are switched. So like the conference room, the lounge space, and then the potential gun safe will all be on that switch. So I come in, click those on. Those will be more of like ambient light, cool lights. I'll probably make some cool light uh, fixtures and stuff. The second switch will be everything down the center. So if I want to do like some kind of neons or up lighting or whatever, that'll be on the second switch. Everything else in here will be on breakers. Hope that makes sense. I did a quick calculation. So the seven down the center are 600 watts a piece. So that's 4,200 watts. Um, the eight uh, four footers that I've got are 300 watts a piece. So that's 2,400 watts. So 20 or 6,600 watts. So far, that's what I'm gonna have in here once everything is up and going. And then I've got some other things I wanna to add too. Like I said, I'm gonna have ambient lighting, maybe some up lighting, and I may even do, so I've got these here. These are basically left over um, when I was ordering the ones for the outside. You can see I've got one on each side. And for the house, I've got two above the garage. Uh, ordered two too many. Actually, the ones on the house weren't the right color. I wanted them a little bit more yellowish. So uh, these are 5,000 color, and I've got two of these. What I'll probably do is these have a photo uh, sensor on the front. I may like just bypass it by just like bypassing the wiring or just block it off and then use it in here somewhere. So when you click the lights on, have those things like hanging somewhere over, over a welding table or a bench top or something, I don't know, I'll figure that out later. A 
Let's see what else I got in here. Like I said, most of that lighting is just temporary. Once they do the insulation, I'll probably sheet, uh, sheet the walls on the inside with either wood or some kind of metal, and I'll start doing some permanent lighting installation. So one of the other things that I've kind of acquired over, over time is these right here. These are from Fronius. They've used them as like show fixtures to hang some of their welding clothing, helmets, um, actually put the welders on here on display. I've got some tops over there that actually have the Fronius logo on them. So I'll probably put these to good use too. I may probably, so when they sent them to me, one got kind of damaged. So I may take the two, make a really good one out of it. Front of top, put some of the welders on display. And uh, the other one, I might like paint black and maybe make it a kill fab one or something. I don't know, we'll see. See, it's got all kinds of shelving pieces. And they both have drawers or actually cabinets. So you can kind of see that one got busted up. What else? Those. What are those? Well, I think these are. Uh, I think these are welding carts, which I don't need. See that I've got two of them over there already. I've got my ZT Fab cart. I use my small welding table as a cart. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just give those things away or something. Hmm, speaking of welding tables. We've got this pallet back here, sitting here nicely, waiting its turn. And really all I'm waiting on this thing is, um, oh man, it's horrible lighting. All I'm waiting on for this thing is, uh, I've been waiting on power. So I can bring a welder down here, start welding this thing up, put it together, and get it to where I can kind of roll it around in the shop so I can get it out of the way, depending on what I'm doing. But this is a four by eight welding table from weldtables.com. You've probably seen my smaller one. The only difference between this one and the other one is that the other one is, I don't know, pretty tall. It's like a stand-up unit. This one here, I'm only gonna have it 30 inches total height off the ground, which will be more of like, uh, like dining table style height. I wanted it lower, I wanna be able to put a chassis on if I want to. Uh, I wanna be able to roll it around and use it as a table. So if we have events, I can kind of use it as a table as well as a welding table. You can see it's just weld table, standard table. I had them do everything as tapped holes. So every one of these holes is just tapped versus the slots that I have on my other one. And I think this thing's like, Three eighths thick. Everything just like the other one, legs, casters, the whole nine. It's gonna be bracing. I'll get it welded up. I'll do a whole video on that so you won't miss it, but probably end up making some like legs that come off the end of it too to extend it. So it'll be, you know, I can make it you know, 12 or 14 foot long versus just the eight foot that it is. So I've got some PVC left over from last year when I was going to try to move into the shop. They do airlines out of this. I don't know, I hear a lot of stuff about not doing airlines out of this, even though it's rated to 600 PSI. Got a couple 2x4s left. Going to make tables out of those. And I just recently bought some cedar just to kind of play around with an idea that I have. Leftover quick crete. I won't be using that in here. I've had that stuff sitting around for a long time. I don't even know if it's any good. If I do use it, it may be at the old house, just to do the carport so we can sell it. Uh, if I do epoxy in here, which I'm kind of on the fence about, um, I'll do like a high-end epoxy. The only reason I'm on the fence is because I plan to work in here. You know, rolling tanks, argon tanks in and out, and just really plan on working. And I don't really want to abuse a floor that's supposed to look nice and then it look not so nice. The only exception to that is I may do like a swirl style epoxy in this uh, space right here that's gonna be more of like the lounge space or the hangout space. So, yeah. 
No, the box spring is not stained. It's trash. What is that? Let's see. Oh man. Some steel targets. It's for my airsoft setup. And I guess last but not least, some TRD. These are uh, factory wheels off of a Forerunner, 17 by sevens. Got two sets of them. It's just uh, just one of those things I randomly acquired. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Probably sell them if you need some factory aluminum wheels for a Forerunner, 17 by sevens. Let me know. I guess that's all I got. Soon, soon more work. I guess this is like the Kill Fab Farms debut video. You'll see some more stuff coming soon. Uh, one other question for you guys. I'm really considering putting some of my content on Amazon Prime. Maybe even doing some like specific content just for Amazon Prime. But what I need you to let me know is do you even watch Amazon Prime? Do you have Amazon Prime and do you watch Amazon Prime videos? Let me know. Thumbs up if you do. Thumbs down if you don't. All right, guys, all I got. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.